Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am starting this vlog looking rather fresh faced. I'm up bright and early this morning and I must say it is chilly this morning. I really feel like we are starting to feel like it's November now. I feel like we had a really really mild autumn and it is now starting to feel a little bit colder. So I've got on my favourite robe at the moment. This is the one that I picked up from Ugg in my recent um designer outlet haul video where I went to Gunwolf Keys. It is the coziest, softest, snuggliest thing ever. When I showed it to Alex, he was really jealous that I didn't get one for him because, oh, I just absolutely love it. So I've got that on this morning and I'm actually starting this video quite fresh face because I have some new things that have arrived and I thought it'd be really fun to do a bit of an unboxing have a bit of a catch up and try the things out together because I feel like often I'll unbox things and then I'll kind of filter them into my routine gradually and then you maybe don't know what my like first impressions were, what I think of the things and like how I'm kind of using them in my routine. So when these arrived I thought you know what that would be really fun to do a bit of an old school like first impressions full face of makeup and especially now that we are coming up to Black Friday I feel like it's really important to know what pieces you want to be shopping in that kind of period and some things that you want to have your eyes on I know I've spoken a lot about Black Friday so make sure to go and check out my last video where I give all my tips I give my predictions things that I think are going to be happening this year what to shop what to look out for and obviously beauty is a big one to look out for when it comes to Black Friday and a lot of different brands offer really really good savings and I've fine with things like makeup with skincare like you're always going to be buying it you're always going to be wanting it so it's really great now to kind of get ahead and start planning what you want to be shopping because I don't know about you but when it comes to like my eye cream whenever it's on sale I will literally buy like four of them because I know I'm going to need that eye cream for the rest of the year I know I'm going to run out of it eventually and want to grab a top up so when it comes to beauty I do the same so I'm currently starting to create a bit of a list of what I want to look out for in the Black Friday sales and if there's one brand that I think do really really great Black Friday sales it is Too Faced and they've really kindly sent me over some goodies to try because I have not used Too Faced makeup in a really, really long time. If you guys have been around for a while, you'll know there was one product from Too Faced that I was obsessed with for so long. And I do actually have it here. And that is the Better Than Sex Mascara. The Better Than Sex and the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara are just so good. And it's one of those products where I ran out of it a long time ago. And I guess because of my job, I obviously get the opportunity to try a lot of things but it does sometimes make me forget about products that I love and this is a product that I loved for such a long time it was such an amazing mascara whenever I went skiing I'd always use the waterproof version like I just absolutely loved the better than sex so they have sent me over very kindly a top up of some of my favorite products and some new things to try so we have the better than sex mascara here and the thing that I think I'm most excited to try is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I've never actually tried a Too Faced foundation before but I have heard really good things and I just absolutely adore the Too Faced packaging I mean look at that how stunning is that packaging it doesn't want to focus on the actual foundation there we go how stunning is that packaging oh it's just absolutely gorgeous so I thought it'd be really really fun to try out the products together so let me give you a little bit of a haul of what I've got in and what we're going to be trying out so of course we have got the Too Faced Born This Weight Foundation. Now, I got the shade in Warm Beige. I am fake tanned at the moment. I fake tanned it last night, so I think this should be a good colour match. Looking at it in the bottle, it looks fairly dark. I think that's mainly because of the translucent packaging. When I was looking online, this is the one that I felt like was kind of like the most similar to my skin tone. So hopefully that's a really good colour match. Of course, we've got the Better Than Sex Mascara. This is just the ordinary one, not the waterproof. I do find when it comes to waterproof mascaras, I only ever use them when I really, really need them. So things like if I... Uh, I know that I'm on holiday a lot, like in the summer, I really rely on them heavily when I'm abroad, if I know I'm going to be in and out of water, sweating a lot, I'll use them when I'm skiing, when I know that my eyes are going to stream a lot from like, you know, running down the slopes and things like that, but this time of year I feel like normal is absolutely fine, unless you're going to a lot of festive parties coming up, maybe the waterproof would be worth considering getting if you have loads of parties, you know you're going to be out all day, partying all night, so I will link both down below if you do want to shop them, along with all the other items from this haul now the next product i'm so excited about is the natural nudes eyeshadow palette now i feel like it's been a decade since i picked up an eyeshadow palette and i really do like the two-faced ones they are absolutely oh my word 
I think this is the most stunning eyeshadow palette I have ever, ever seen. Look at those colours. And if you're like me, you're a nude girl at heart. And one thing I've definitely noticed actually is I've really steered away from shimmer eyeshadows as well. And I definitely noticed it in my kind of like makeup collection. I didn't have a great deal of non-shimmer eyeshadows that I could kind of like pick from and mix up and blend together. So I was so excited when I saw this palette because this has got so many, as well as shimmers, but um matte eyeshadow so we've got obviously matte 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 and i just feel like there's so many to choose from and blend up and style together and there is not a single eyeshadow here that i'm looking at and thinking that's not very me and i feel like that's always the way whenever it comes to eyeshadow palettes you look at them and you think 90 percent of the shades i love but there's usually like one rogue shade that they throw in there whereas this is just gorgeous this is going to do me so well for autumn and winter because when it comes to smoky eye i love it to be a really like golden warm toned smoky eye there's lots of shade lovely shades in here that i could use for like winter like i love this coppery tone i think would look so nice maybe more of a pinky eye when we get a little bit festive like oh i feel like i could just get so much wear out of this and this might be able to replace my current brow shade that i use for my liner flick i really like using a brown liner when it comes to my liner flicks i feel like it just looks a little bit more natural and softer and i have been looking for a new one because i'm almost hitting pan on the nars palette that i have so i'm really really excited about this i just think that palette is stunning absolutely stunning oh i can't wait to try that okay next we have another uh, face product and this is the chocolate soleil long wear matte bronzer and again i've been looking for a new bronzer because i always love trying different bronzers and this is just so cute look at that packaging that is just absolutely stunning i love the Too Faced packaging i feel like these would make really good christmas gifts as well if you maybe know someone that's looking to get into makeup or if they're looking for like top-ups but that shade is just absolutely stunning. I feel like that's just a really perfect, like, warm-toned brown powder. It's not shimmery at all. It's matte, which I really like with regards to my powders. I don't like to have shimmery powders because I feel like when it's matte, you can really sculpt it a little bit more. Um, so this, I don't think, has a shade. I think it's just the one shade, just the Chocolate Soleil powder. So really excited to try that. And then I've got a couple of brow products. Now, it's been a while since I've tried some new brow products, but I've been really wanting to try some new ones. So first up, we have the Ultra Slim Brown Pencil in Natural Brown. Now, I always go for a lighter colour, but I just adore how sharp that nib is. I mean, let me try and... Oh, <laughs> it's a lid. Look at how tiny that is. I mean, that is going to create the best brow shape i always like to go for something really thin because i don't like it when it's like too bulky i've definitely noticed recently whenever i get lazy with my brows i feel like they look quite heavy and like just a bit much on my face i feel like maybe it's being a petite person as well i've got quite a small head i've got quite a small face so i feel like i really need to be delicate with it to make sure that i'm not overdoing my brows or making them too heavy or too like sluggish um and then we've also got a spoolie there and then we also have the laminating brow wax now i'm very particular with what brow waxes i like to use on my eyebrows because i have had some in the past that haven't really worked i have very wiry brows i think is the best way to describe it. they're not fluffy at all so for them to look fluffy requires very specific products so i'm really excited to try this because it's called the fluff and hold and i find that the refi brow gel that i use really makes them look fluffy but i am running out of that i just wanted to try something new so that i'm not always using the same thing and showing you guys something really boring when it comes to my makeup every day so i picked that up as well just in the clear brow gel i never like to go for colored brow gel again fine it's a little bit heavy a little bit much and a little bit stark on my face so those are the new in products from Too Faced. And as I said, I definitely would recommend bookmarking Too Faced and having that as one of the brands to check back in on for Black Friday because I know they're going to have some really, really good savings. But for now, it's time to try the products, see what I think, do a bit of a first impressions and test them out. Okay, so in terms of colour match, I definitely think that's a really, really good colour match. I literally use the smallest amount and actually I was expecting it to be heavier because I think it's called a medium coverage. Medium to full coverage. So I've gone really, really light with this and I quite like it. Like it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin. It doesn't feel too mattifying, which is really, really nice. It just feels like a nice lightweight but like quite a good coverage foundation. I feel like I've had quite bad breakouts on my chin recently without any concealer. I feel like most of them are almost gone, which I think is pretty impressive just for like one layer of foundation and a really, really light layer at that. And I do think the colour is perfect. It just matches the rest of my skin when I've got a bit of fake tan. It definitely would be too dark 
if I didn't have for any fake tan on the moment, but luckily I'm the kind of person that very rarely doesn't wear any, especially now that we're coming up to the festive period. So I think this will make a really good Christmas foundation. Like the kind of foundation that you can wear into the office because it doesn't feel too heavy. It's not uncomfortable on the skin, but will last you to like go into like the parties, the Christmas events, the meals, the drinks. I think this will be a really great day to night foundation. It's really wearable, but really high coverage, and I'm really, really impressed with that. Okay, I'm going to go in with the bronzer next. Now, I'm quite lightweight for my bronzer. All I really do is a small, like, if I do that, you can just see this line, and I just like to kind of accentuate that line a little bit, especially if I'm gonna have days where I've got my hair up like this. I feel like it's really nice to pull your face up and just make it a little bit more, less round, I think is the best way to describe it. Oh my goodness, I did not realize that this smelled like chocolate. I was like, what is that smell? Guys, this bronzer smells like chocolate. Oh, that's making me hungry. Okay, <laughs> let's try it out. Okay, first impressions, it is a lot heavier than the bronzers I may be used to at the moment. I feel like I've gone a bit too heavy handed for that, so I'm just gonna clean it up underneath just to give a little bit more of a sharp line and make sure it's not too stark. But that, I think, looks quite nice. We've got this one side compared to that side. I feel like it just gives a nice natural kind of bronzy look but i'm gonna go a bit light-handed with this side because that was a bit too much that is much better i feel like it always comes up really stark on camera whenever you do like concealer or bronzer or anything where it's like a different kind of color way it always comes up much darker but in real life that is just a really lovely natural bronzy glow very warm toned which i quite like i think it really adds a lovely sculpt to my face and just pulls the cheekbones up a bit one piece of advice i would always give when it comes to doing your bronzer as well is just to go back in with your foundation brush underneath just in case you've had any fallout and you can just kind of clean it up and tidy it up make that line a little bit sharper and then it just makes your contour a little bit more kind of cheekbone like emphasizing which i really really like doing now moving on to brows i am really enjoying this spoolie it's a really really lovely spoolie look at the color i'm not sure if i've gone quite dark enough this is the shade natural blonde so it might be a little bit too light for me but we actually no i think that's okay as i said i don't like to go darker than my eyebrows are I like to actually try and lighten them. I think it's partially because of the fact that I balayage my hair. So obviously I lighten my hair. And my brows are just very naturally dark. They're naturally dark. They're naturally wiry. They're a little bit um, masculine, I would say. And as someone that doesn't have very masculine features, it often stands out. Um, so I really like to try and make them a little bit softer, a little bit fluffier, a little bit lighter and a bit more feminine. And I like that. I really, really like that. I feel like it always looks a little bit heavy when it's just got the pencil on. You haven't brushed them up yet. But I think the colour is perfect. Um, I'm quite unique in doing that though. So just have a look at what your usual colour is. But I really love the fact that it's so tiny that I can literally get in and get like all the kind of bristles and brush hairs. And I don't feel like I'm just completely filling my brow. I think I'm just kind of like placing the product where it needs placing and like filling it in where it needs filling. And then we're going to go in with the fluff and hold laminating brow wax, which I'm really, really excited about. I love that brush. It's like a, a plastic applicator, which I think is great because it means that you can really get in on like the bristles of your eyebrows. I feel like brushing up your brows just makes such a huge huge difference i really like that actually i feel like it's not too heavy like one problem i do have the with the refi is it is very heavy like you can feel it in your brows you can sometimes see it in your brows i hope i've not made them too much i think once i get my eyeshadow on it will balance out but i really like that brow gel and i really really like the pencil so this might just be my new everyday brow look and the kind of thing that i will do for basically the next five years because honestly i swear my last brow application has been the same products and the same application for so so long so i'm really excited to change it up a little bit let me know what you think i hope it's not too heavy it's always really really hard to tell until you've got the rest of your face on which speaking of let's jump into the born this way and natural nudes eyeshadow palette and i'm not going to go for too much just because you guys know what i'm like with regards to my eyes i have very very sensitive eyes and i don't like to wear too much eyeshadow because i do find i think i don't think i'm allergic to it but i think it just affects my eye lids really really heavily so i like to just make sure that i go in quite lightweight with it so i just want to kind of test it out and see how the eyeshadows react to my eyes first and then 
when it comes to Christmas, we will be doing a full festive glam look. So I've got loads of parties and loads of events coming up. So I think I'm just going to go in with nude just to kind of go in with my crease and also create a really nice shade across my eyeshadow. I like it just to look really nice and natural. That is lovely. That doesn't feel too heavy at all. It doesn't feel weighty on my eyelids and that's blended beautifully. Do you know what I love about this is this is the epitome of like no makeup, makeup, makeup. <laughs> like it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything on my eyes, but when you see it next to the eye that actually isn't wearing anything, you can see the difference. But I really like that nude shade. I think maybe next time I might try seashell, which is a bit more of a pinky tone. I think would look really nice as well if you're wanting something even lighter. But I like my eyeshadow to almost match my bronzer. You guys know one of the tricks I use a lot actually, especially if you're someone who has sensitive eyes and you react a lot to eyeshadow, is actually just to use your bronzer. So maybe tomorrow I could try just using the Too Faced bronzer instead on my eyes and seeing how that goes together. But I really, really love that eyeshadow. I'm literally just gonna put in the corner of my eye this little shade called Swan, which I really like. It's just a little white shade. And I like doing this, especially on days when I'm tired, just to brighten up the inner corner of my eye a little bit. So I literally just apply a tiny bit in the inner corner and then bring it up my eye just ever so slightly and it's a great way to like open up your eyes make you look more awake and make you look more alive okay this is quite a big moment for me i'm going to be trying a new eyeshadow for my liner flick and i have tried a few in the past that i've never found one that's quite compared to that nars one and i'm debating between coco and truffle i think i might try truffle today because it's the darker shade but i might try coco on another day or maybe i should try coco today I might try cocoa today. I'm gonna do it. I feel like it looks like a really really nice shade So I actually just go in with an eyebrow brush and the first thing I do is just ever so slightly Tap a little bit of product to my waterline because I feel like that's a great trick and an easy way Just to kind of elongate your lashes and make them look a lot fuller a lot longer I'm not really a false lash kind of a gal so any kind of more natural way of opening up my lashes and making them look like almost like falsies is great for me. Okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to really have to concentrate here. If you want a full tutorial on how I do my liner, I have done it before. I'll try and find the video and link it down below, but this is not gonna be a tutorial because I'm gonna need to concentrate having to new use the new product. My goodness, I cannot talk today. I think it's the nervousness of trying this. <laughs> okay, what do we think i'm impressed i am really really impressed i think that is a lovely shade of brown it's definitely a bit lighter than the brown that i've been using every day and a little bit more subtle but i really like that so this is cocoa that i've been using so next time i can try truffle if i want something a little bit darker and a little bit more kind of like of a of a va va voom with regards to my lashes but oh my goodness i love that i forgot how nice it is to try new makeup products and i know that i've not done much literally just done a little bit of eyeshadow and a little bit of liner but it's made me really really excited to try out this palette more and get a little bit more creative with my eyes especially i feel like having something that's just so you that like this just feels so quintessentially me i have a feeling this is a palette i'm just going to get a lot of wear out of i don't think it's going to look this pristine for much longer now i'm just going to curl my lashes and put on a bit of mascara and we have the better than sex and mascara i mean that packaging is just stunning i must say i feel like too faced cannot be beaten on their packaging it's just beautiful i would be so thrilled to receive this for christmas i feel like black friday this year is just going to be the time to get your christmas presents in so things like this are perfect to pick up now one thing i do remember about the better than sex mascara is that it has a little bit of fallout and you don't want to build up too much it's a very buildable mascara but i do feel it's like the more you build the thicker it gets so if you want a really va va voom full glam look this is a great one but it's also really easy just for a couple of layers just for something a bit more every day but you do need to be a little bit careful when you apply it just to make sure that you don't get any fallout. But look how lovely that looks. I feel like it just completes the eye look. Super natural and super simple, but lovely and flawless and glam. So I don't actually have any Too Faced lipsticks to use. So I've just used my Code 8. This is the bespoke one that I did with them last Christmas, which I cannot believe I've had this for a full year now. So that is the full face almost of Too Faced Beauty and I am in love I must admit I've got really really good 
experience for the first time using this we'll definitely have to see how it kind of like holds up i'm not doing too much today i've got a bit of a day at home i'm gonna be popping out later so we'll just see how it holds up with my skin and like how it sits on it so obviously foundation is different on everyone and like how it sits and how it fares is always going to be different but if you guys don't know my skin i'm kind of like dry but I am prone to breakouts, so I do find that that is probably the biggest thing that I look for when it comes to the end of the day. It's just like the dry patches I get like around here, around my breakouts, and just seeing how that fares. And because it's an oil-free foundation, it's going to be interesting to see how it does. But I do find that oil-free usually works well with my skin. The Laura Mercier Oil-Free Tinted Moisturizer is one of my favorites for a really, really long time. So if you usually like the foundations that I recommend, I have a feeling you're really, really going to like this. But as I said, make sure to check out the description box i will leave all the links down there i have a big mess of packaging and new makeup to sort out it's always really exciting when you get to add new things into your makeup bag and be like you you are staying because i'm definitely going to get more use out of you and it's so so lovely to have tried these new products and knowing that i'm able to add them into my routine and they are going to become really really fundamental parts of my beauty routine every single morning but i need to get myself dressed and ready for the day but i'm really really impressed with the makeup right so i am dressed and ready for the day i was contemplating doing something with my hair but i'm actually going swimming later this afternoon so i figured there probably wasn't much point in doing anything so i've just kept the slick back bun um and just put my pandora jewelry on i've not actually had a chance to wear this one yet this is a new one i picked up recently it's a really gorgeous little pendant stud earrings because what else at the moment and of course my current favorites i'm loving the pop of gold with this pandora me chain bracelet it's just such a cute way of adding something a little bit different in with an otherwise all silver look and i'm just wearing my favorite pretty lavish dress at the moment this is like a really gorgeous collared jumper dress it's quite different from the other jumper dresses i have in my wardrobe and it's got like the highest leg slit in the world which is obviously showing off my beautiful slippers because what else would it be showing off when i'm at home i'm not gonna lie i feel like i've been such a creature of habit recently with regards to my outfits i feel like i've just been outfit repeating wearing the same things like literally every single day at the moment but i do promise you i've got lots of new and things to show you when black friday hits which i'm so excited about so hope you don't mind i'm outfit repeating again with another classic favorite but if anything it just goes to show that i really do get the wear out of my wardrobe and everything that i'm adding in really does get its cost per wear i'm downstairs to make myself a coffee and would you look at that morning sunlight that is hitting this room ah oh, the winter sun just makes my heart sing oh it's my favorite thing about this house but right coffee montage coming up <laughs> and I am feeling good. I feel like I'm almost ready for the festive coffee syrups. But as you can see beside me, I have some unboxings to do and some parcels to open with you guys because I feel like I'm finally ready. I'm ready to start adding those festive touches to the house. I'm not going full blown, like we're not putting up a wreath, we're not doing anything like that. But I feel like the way that I love kind of transitioning into the next season is through scent and like just little things here and there that can kind of just really help me to almost like just feel like i am sliding into the next season really seamlessly and smoothly so it's not like huge changes i'm not really the kind of person that does like you know i know like american um like interior accounts especially do huge where like as soon as it's like the first of september they're like right I'm in autumn as soon as it's the first november right i'm in winter like christmas time i like to do it a little bit more subtly and a little bit smoother i feel like that's just me to a t though i don't like to go wholehearted like whole hog on things i just like to to ease myself go nice and smoothly so i've got some things here to open with you that i'm really really excited about first of all it's from the white company and i just want to say before i unbox this the white company in black friday 
I kind of wish I'd saved myself and bought these during the Black Friday sales, but knowing myself, I will also do an order during Black Friday at Cyber Week from the White Company, but they do so many good sales. Like they usually offer site-wide discounts, which is amazing. They do loads of good sales with regards to like their scents, their home stuff. They also do it with like their clothes, their nightwear. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. I know I keep talking about Black Friday a lot, but if you didn't watch my last one, I feel like the best thing that you can ever do for yourself with regards to saving the most money and not going, not being overwhelmed during Black Friday is being prepared. So knowing what brands you want to be looking for, knowing what kind of products you want to keep your eye out on. And I feel like the white company just have so many great products to shop during Black Friday. So let me show you what I picked up. Actually, the first thing is not festive at all, but I thought I would just show you is a little spa hairband. Now they do these, um, which are so soft. I love the White Company flannels. I always have white White Company flannels. And I've definitely noticed recently that I need to get a new, just a spa hairband that like holds your hair back, you know, when you're washing at the end of the night, like you're cleansing your hair and things like that. I have been needing a new one recently and I spotted this when I was in the White Company. So I thought I'd pick that up. It was literally a few quid. I can't remember how much it was, but super soft. And these are great because you can just chuck them in the wash. They always end up a little bit orange. They always end up with foundation marks, but it doesn't bother me because I just chuck it straight in the wash. So I picked that up first and foremost. Okay, I'm going to start with scents. And of course I had to add some White Company festive scents into my order because now is the time. Now is the time that I'm ready to get festive and through scents is just the best way to do that. So I picked up a new candle and I feel like this time of year is when I really, sorry about the lighting behind me by the way, the sun is going in and out a little bit but I just love unboxing things and sitting in this spot with you. Um, but this time of year is when I really start to reintroduce candles into my kind of like routine at night. I love getting cozy especially now that the clocks have obviously like gone back and it's darker earlier and we have longer darker nights. Candles are a great we just get really like cozy and snug and enjoy the long evenings so i picked up a mistletoe candle and you would have seen it recently that i opened my mistletoe diffuser and that is the scent i currently have in this room and i love it alex really likes it as well because it's not too strong he doesn't ever like anything too festive or too christmasy too early on um but this is like a really lovely one so it says that it's got cedar spruce and amber and i think it's the amber that makes it slightly festive but obviously the cedar and the spruce makes it a little bit like fresher it literally oh it kind of almost smells like a winter walk through the forest i think that's the best way to describe it and i am in love with it absolutely in love with it so i wanted to pick up the candle version as well so that i can burn that at night and then it just fills this room with the most gorgeous festive but subtle festive scent i think that's such a lovely way of starting to incorporate those kind of like christmasy tones into your home so i definitely recommend it picking up mistletoe depending on how fast i get this i might also rebuy it during the black friday sales in the larger candle i definitely recommend doing that because i love the big candles from the white company i've obviously got my pomegranate one like look at that size difference it is huge and i really love shopping them during the black friday sales because i feel like they're such treats to yourself it's not the kind of thing that you would like splurge on every single month but to be able to get it when it's at a discount is so so exciting so i just treated myself to the little one for now so that i can start incorporating the scent more into my nighttime routine and i just love burning candles at this time of year it feels so cozy and if you're like me and you don't have a fire it's a great way to get that almost like crackling noise you know you've got that like flame burning and it just feels the coziest i actually picked up another mistletoe reed diffuser because i'm really really enjoying it and i think i might put this one in the living room because it's just such a beautiful scent and i really like having like my scents kind of continue throughout the house i quite like having different spaces and different rooms and like different things that i can put out so like my bathroom is always a different scent to our bedroom which is always a different scent to like our kitchen but I do like having that continuation so I thought this would be really nice to put in another room as well and seeing as though we're loving mistletoe as a scent so much I just wanted to make sure that I had a backup of this because I did not want to run out of it lastly now this tell me if you think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself and this is a little bit too festive but lastly I picked up mulled wine I'm so excited about this so this one is cinnamon nutmeg and vanilla so very very festive like this isn't the kind that people are going to like ask what the scent is or you know kind of like not be able to place it this is like a Christmas scent and I'm really looking forward to putting this out I kind of want to get it out now but I'm not sure if mid-November is too soon but this is that it's a fruity meets spicy it's notes of cinnamon nutmeg and star anise blend harmoniously with sweet vanilla and sumptuous red wine acorn this stylish scent of it in a subtle way to softly fragrance a room all day it comes in our lovely round bottle with a polished silver look collar 
lasts for approximately 12 weeks. 12 weeks? I don't think I've ever had one last 12 weeks, but maybe that's because I put too many reeds in. I always like it to have loads of reeds in, so it really, really fills the room, but I really want to put this up. I am so in love with it. It's like a really gorgeous, super, super festive scent. The cinnamon is obviously what makes it the most festive, and actually, when I was in the shop, I was smelling, obviously, we've got the classic winter scent from the white cannon. I do love that, but I feel like it's a little bit overdone now, and I can't believe I'm saying that, like I'm slagging off winter from the white company but maybe i'll go back to it next year but i think this year i just want a bit of a change and i want something a bit different so i've gone for mulled wine because it's still very festive very cinnamony very wintry but just slightly different from what i've been going from year on year so i picked that up as well and i feel like oh it's just the best thing to be able to fill your home and all the gorgeous festive scents and start putting out those reed diffusers and i also place a little order from m and s that i've got here so one thing that i love that m and s do is their candles around christmas time now they do the loveliest they're like light up candles and it might be one of those things where i have to show you later tonight oh no we've had an accident one of them's broken oh no can you see that i'm gonna have to open the others and see if they have survived the journey okay so these two have survived the journey it's just the different one that didn't which is so typical maybe it's just because of the way that they're made although this one does look like it's got a little crack on it no that's just a sticker <laughs> so these have survived the journey and these are the candles that i pick up from m&s and they are neroli lime and bergamot they're led light up scented candles and i cannot explain to you how they do this it is some kind of wizarding magic from harry potter but when you light the candle inside these little lights i don't know how well you're going to be able to see them around the outside they light up so it looks like you've got batteries in the candle somehow so you've got obviously the flickering flame when you light it and you've also got the lights around the outside and it also smells amazing neroli lime and bergamot is slightly festive but again not too festive so it's a really really nice one to put up now in november and these candles are 10 pounds 10 pounds one thing i will say they definitely don't burn for that long because in terms of actual i'm going to try and open this up in terms of actual candle and actual wax there's not like a huge amount of it just because obviously you do have the um like lights around the outside oh that smells amazing but it does last i would say like if you don't burn it every single night it could probably one would last you for the whole of the seasonal months but I will probably pick up another couple but i'm really upset about this one because i wanted to show you this it's slightly different from the others i might just pull out and see if i can show you without breaking it anymore but this one is a little like town scape which is so cute but i am getting glass all over myself so i'm going to put that back in because i don't want to end up cutting my fingers so i'm gonna have to take that back to store and see if they can exchange it for me because it also lights up and it's just so pretty you've got like the little houses lighting up and it looks so magical so i think i really want to put these out now just so that i can start lighting them in the evening it can start feeling a little bit festive and a little bit magical honestly i just love this time of year i feel like it really is the most magical time of the year it makes me so happy and so content and i just want my home to reflect that feeling okay so i feel like these shelves are what we need to tackle today in order to help incorporate those festive vibes so i've just opened the second mistletoe i've decided i'm going to save mulled wine i'm going to save it until maybe like the last week in november but i do also find that with these diffusers obviously it says it lasts 12 weeks i don't find mine normally last that long but they do last a good six weeks so when it comes to Christmas diffusers, especially if you're going for a full size, you don't want to open it in like the second week of December because you'll have wasted it because you don't want it up in your home. Come January, come January, I just want all the festive scents gone. So you're definitely going to want to add them into your home now and pick them up now. So I'll link them down below or of course you could shop them in the Black Friday sale. So I'm going to use this opportunity to put in my new festive scents in the mistletoe diffuser. And I think I want to take the sticker off of this M&S one because it's not really a vibe having the big stick of, hang on, why was that lit up? I think it's because it was in the sun. I think it's heat activated. I don't know if it's heat or um, light activated, but that was just, that definitely wasn't my imagination, was it? That was definitely lit up. It must be because the sun was shining on it, but that's better without all of the stickers on. It looks, yeah, look, it's lit up again. <gasps> Can you see that? How pretty. I think it is because it's in the sun. So that actually might be really fun putting it here because the sun hits here in the morning and then this will be lit up without me ha even having to burn the candle. Oh, that makes me happy. Right, shelf reorganize. 
is a go. And now, there's something in the air. Okay, so I've just put the little glitter candle on top of this. This is like a really cute little photo album coffee table book, and I really like how the black looks with the gold, and I think when that lights up, it's gonna be so, so lovely. I was debating whether it's too stark for the space, but I think actually I wanna make a kind of real feature of the light up, and I've just added the mistletoe candle and re-diffuser here, so it just lights up and scents up this side of the room. And as I was doing that, I actually remembered I have a candle in storage that I did not burn enough last year. I think I bought it near the end of December and I did not burn it. So I've decided I'm going to get this out. This is the only winter scent I'm going to have in the house this year. Because as I said, I am a little bit over it. Although smelling it is kind of bringing me back all the festive memories. So I think I'm going to get this out as well. And I can start burning this again of an evening. And it's just going to feel so cozy and so lovely. And it just makes my heart sing. <laughs> Would you look at that? beautiful winter sunshine i literally have it reflecting on my face at the moment but i'm just in the car now i've quickly changed because i'm actually heading swimming this afternoon evening which i'm really really looking forward to um i've been doing a lot of swimming at the moment recently for two things mainly my knee and also my shoulder which i realize i haven't actually given you an update on my shoulder recently so i'm two acupuncture appointments down now and after the second one i definitely felt a lot more release it was really weird the only way to describe it is it literally felt like someone was pouring like diet coke into my veins like i literally felt like a fizzy pop it's so bizarre um if you haven't been keeping up to date with the vlogs or you don't know i've got a trapped nerve currently in my shoulder which is driving me nuts but the acupuncture seems to be helping which is really really good and i definitely would say like swimming keeping um fit i'm doing a lot of swimming and a lot of running recently those are like my main forms of exercise um just because i find that for me mentally they do the best benefit in terms of emotional states like all of that jazz as well as the physical benefits as well but i wanted to quickly do actually show you the makeup before i went swimming because i normally don't get my face in the water but just in case it's all come off by the time i finish it's about four o'clock now and i feel like it's lasted really really well for the day like i'm loving loving the tones of it i really really love how the eye makeup look it's it not too heavy like it's very no makeup makeup look really love how subtle that um flick is i feel like the only thing that i'm unsure about is my brows being too heavy i'm still looking in the viewfinder thinking mm, are my brows too heavy at the moment i'm not entirely sure but i love the foundation love the bronzer i love the face makeup so i'm really really happy with that so i am heading off swimming now which i'm really really looking forward to i feel like it's so nice just like the end of the day when you've had like a busy work day i've been doing lots of filming and i've had a couple of meetings today just to have a little bit of like light exercise light release so let's get going oh my goodness me you are seriously going to have to excuse the state of me i had the loveliest loveliest time at the gym i did a quick gym session and then it jumped in the pool for a half an hour swim which was really really lovely but they were having issues with their boilers the showers weren't very warm so i decided i wouldn't wash my hair at the gym i'd wait till i have got home so i've still got my makeup on i've still got my hair scraped back considering that i've literally been swimming i feel like my makeup has lasted fairly decently let's not get too close let's not get too close because it's not the prettiest of sites but i'm not gonna lie it's making me really happy coming home with it being all cozy all dark and smelling so festive i'm absolutely in love with these scents the mistletoe candle and the reason diffuser just so beautiful for this time of year i am absolutely in love with them but i have decided and there is a one thing, one thing that makes it smell and feel more festive than putting up your reed diffusers and lighting your candles, and that is some festive baking. So I've decided I'm actually going to make some cookies tonight. I have not attempted this recipe yet, so we're going to see how it goes, but I thought I could make some festive cinnamon cookies. I think Alex would really appreciate coming home to some freshly baked cookies in the oven. So I thought I would make the most of the fact that we're having a bit of a festive day. I feel like this is almost like prepping for christmas like we're getting ready also I've taken off all of my jewelry just in case you're wondering um but that is one thing i do love about these earrings is that i feel like i don't have to take these off when i go swimming because they're just little studs like they just stay in all the time even though they have butterfly backs i don't really feel them to be fair um but yes i'm gonna do some festive baking stuff i think i'm gonna light the candles i'm gonna get cozy 
and we're gonna make some cookies. So I've just realized that I don't have the right ingredients for cookies, mainly that I don't have chocolate chunks. And now that it's dark and started raining, the last thing I want to do is leave the house and go and get chocolate chunks for the cookies. So instead I'm gonna do scones, which I don't think Alex will complain at. I think he will still really, really love that. So we're gonna bake some scones tonight just for a little, a little winter warmer, a little taster into the festive season. Something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin Storing 